Good day guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy's uh, Civil 3D tutorial. Today we're going to see how to do surface draping. So what is surface draping? Surface draping is if you got a satellite imagery, uh, which is of a specific location for a tin surface, you can drape it on top of the surface. So typically if you got a tin surface, if you go to object viewer, you get to see the surface in a realistic style or you can see the 3D wireframe or conceptual you can check in different styles so that is something which we can do it uh, by default uh, but if you are able to superimpose your satellite imagery or drone footage or any of those aerial photographs on top of your uh, tin surface you would be able to see this actual uh, features uh, you know and the image draped on top of it so which looks very realistic and it's going to help you out uh, doing much better designs and visualizing uh, the the features that you that you find on site uh, that you can also correlate along with the tin model that you're working on okay so how to do that so the step one of this one is to get the image into the drawing using an autocad command which you would have used before called xref so that is the step one and the step two is drape that image on top of the surface uh, so there is also little other tricks that you can also do is one is uh, the image frame command which you can use it to ta lock the frames and um, make sure that people are not moving it around and even put into a layer and lock it off and you can do a lot of little little things uh, just to do a bit more um, better design all right so first thing is let us bring some uh, images inside so uh, I'm going to use the xref command and use attach image let me get the image Here we go. Okay. So we got the image. So I'm just going to click in the lower left corner and then I'm going to drag it until it covers the surface. So it doesn't necessarily have to cover it just for the example sake. I'm just doing it. Um, so imagine this surface is just for this location. We can do this way. And then uh, if you want to adjust it, you can adjust it as well. So it's all up to you. Okay, so once you have done that, um, so make sure that you use an align command. Uh, so that is one forgotten command in AutoCAD. Align is a combination of zoom, zoom out, and then uh, you can scale pan. It does everything together. So it's a very nice command. So you can use align command to align a particular feature on your uh, on your image uh, with respect to the tan with tin surface so that you can uh, align it precisely okay so that is one thing so once you have aligned it moved it rotate whatever you have done so once it's all set so next thing is we need to drape this image on top of the surface for that select your surface and um, make sure that the surface is in a tin model so you can pretty much easy to visualize uh, the image and the surface together so now click on drape image and um, so I'm going to choose the image. Sometimes you might have multiple images. If you're not sure, you can click on this little button and then you can go and pick the image on the model space and then the surface and then the render material. So what happens is it will take the image data and then create a new render material and then it will save it along with the DDBG file. After that, you don't even need the image. So this one, make sure that you give a proper name to it. I'm going to say this is going to be my site. aerial and then click OK so once you have done that first let's verify if it's as it has done it properly so the best way to do it is select your surface right click and go to object viewer so now at first you may not see it just make sure that you rotate it and take your hands off of the mouse because it wouldn't render in object viewer when you're still holding on to the mouse wheel so now I'm just going to take it off and then you should be able to see the rendered image on top of the surface Okay, so once you've got this one, so you don't really need the image. So you can either put into a surface layer and then, you know, hide it away or you can get rid of it. So now select your surface, go back to object viewer. 
and then you should still see it. The reason being is if you select your surface and if you go to surface properties under the information tab, there is a render material here. So this is actually uh, a material, new material is all it's created specifically and then it's it's saved into the DDPG file. So if you don't want to see your aerial imagery, so you can uh, get rid of this material or you can go and choose another material by layer or anything that you want to choose. OK, so that's about draping. And um, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me in the comment section. And thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel and uh, wait for a few more videos. We're going to put it in. And um, also, I'm going to do some videos for um, developers. If you are keen on developing some uh, AutoCAD or Civil 3D based applications and plugins, uh, feel free to join our channel. So I'm going to start doing that pretty soon. Um, yeah, so just uh, let me know. We will do uh, Vault Cool Orange. And um, we can do Revit and we can do Civil 3D, AutoCAD, uh, Navis, plenty of applications, even Microsoft Office. So I've worked on pretty much a lot of these platforms. Um, yeah, so we'll start doing some of them. All right. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.